Hey, good morning. How is everyone this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Good Hello, my friends. Yeah, it's Monday morning and it is 7.30, so we know it's Monday morning mojo time. I'm coming to you live from my remote location in my living room. <laughs> uh, I am working with lighting and different locations in the house, so uh, if any of you have tips, please share. But I am so excited to talk to you uh, every Monday morning. You are the highlight of my week, so I just want to thank you guys for getting up early and for being with me. And this morning, uh, we're going to talk about gratitude. Of course, it's Thanksgiving week, and it's a perfect time to talk about gratitude, yet it's not the only time that we should be talking about gratitude. And so I am... Uh, going to share some thoughts with you. And, you know, first I'm going to open with a quote. So the quote that I have for you this morning is from Zig Ziglar. And it's that gratitude is the healthiest of all emotions. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. And that's Zig Ziglar. So I think that, of course, as I said, during Thanksgiving week, it is always a good time to talk about gratitude, not the only time to talk about gratitude. I think that gratitude is an attitude and I think it's a choice. And I realized that um, in a year full of crazy, topsy-turvy, unexpected events, uh, challenges and confusion, uh, I think that there's never a better time than right now to take a moment and pause and to reflect on your blessings and reflect on what you're grateful for. And when I say that gratitude is a choice, I think that it goes to uh, really help us look at it's a mindset, right? So gratitude is an attitude. So what are the things that you're most grateful for? And we can talk about that again in just a second. Um, it's really about, I think, programming your thoughts to focus on the possibilities and programming your thoughts to focus on the opportunities. And, you know, researchers have studied this for decades. And what research has shown is that the impact of gratitude has a long lasting effect uh, on your health, on your not only mindset, but your physical and emotional health. It has been said that people who are, uh, people who express gratitude on a regular basis have lower blood pressure, have less stress, uh, and that's not to say they're immune to stress. It just means that they immediately see a, a change in their state of mind and in their state of emotions as they express gratitude. So it's really interesting to me that it's something we don't talk enough about in the business world. Well, I shouldn't say that. In my world, we do. However, I think in general, it's not something that we talk enough about in the business world. I mean, sure, everyone's focused on customer service and providing you know, a high level of service and thanking customers for business and referrals, but are we really expressing gratitude at a high level in all the environments that we're in? Are we taking the time to really not only say thank you to someone, but maybe go the extra mile and, and show what you appreciate about them? Recognize something that they're doing well. Uh, tell them how they're their position in your company or on their team on your team or what they're doing for the, the company or for you as a client has impacted you and changed your life. See, if we take the time out to really connect with people at that level, I think things change for everybody. So I, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how gratitude and being in a state of gratitude, not just being someone who is polite and willing to you know, share positive feedback, but honestly, just being in that state of gratitude where you make the choice of your, you know, how your mindset is going to be set and programmed can really change things for you. Um, I think that, you know, at, at this time, we're winding down 2020. We don't really know what 2021 is going to bring, but yet do we ever know what any year is going to bring us? We start every year at New Year's, most of us anyway, right? with this sense of optimism for what the new year will bring. And we start the new year with a set of intentions and goals. And that optimism is what fuels all of that. 
So I don't think this year should be any different, right? So we're going to think about all of the great opportunities we want to create in 2021 in spite of whatever might happen around us. And as we do that, as we cast this future vision, taking the time to reflect on where we are now and what we're grateful for, I think is, is going to be the, the, the turbo boost that we need in that fuel. Um, I recognize that this week may be a hard, a hard week for some of you guys. Uh, I know for me, it's a different Thanksgiving this year. I, um, my parents are not gonna be with me. My siblings are not gonna be with me. Uh, one of my children is not going to be with me, yet I can be grateful that they're healthy and that they're still in my life. And I choose to believe this is a pause and uh, a, a moment in time that we'll recover from. And I look forward to the next opportunity where we're all together physically, yet it doesn't stop me from, you know, being together with them in my thoughts and in my heart, and of course, with technology. So I have to choose to be happy and I have to choose to look at things from a different perspective because that's the thing about gratitude. It shifts your focus. And we know I've shared with all of you before that what we focus on expands. So if you choose to focus on the things that are not gonna work for you, that's what's gonna show up in your life, more, more challenges. If you choose to focus on the things that you're missing out on, you're gonna feel loss. If you choose to focus on how things were different, you're gonna miss what's happening right around you. So it's really about making the choice not to be overly positive where you're, you're not being logical or that optimism is creating a false sense of reality for you. I think that when, when we look at you know, the DNA of somewhat a positive thinker, it's not that we sit around saying nothing bad's gonna happen or I choose to think nothing's bad gonna happen. I think what, what positive people are thinking is that whatever does show up, whatever challenge comes my way, I'm gonna deal with it and I'm gonna figure it out. And so I, that's why I say that expressing gratitude is really the fuel for all of these positive thoughts. Um, it just improves the quality of your life, right? So we have a choice every day, how we wanna wake up, how we wanna spend our day. And, and you know, I just think there's enough challenges out of these windows that I'm staring at. I don't need to create any more for me in here. So that's why I say it's a, it's a state of mind. So what are you thankful for? What are you most thankful for? Take a second right now and just think about it. You know, I was just jotting down some thoughts this morning over my first cup of coffee. I have the second one over here. I'm certainly thankful for my family, for my friends, for the love that I have in my life, for my health, uh, the health of the people that I love. I'm thankful for my dog. I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful for the work I get to do and who I get to do it with every day. I'm thankful for the people who have showed up in a big way uh, around us this year, essential workers, medical professionals, um, people uh, that are really doing the hardest work we could imagine. And I'm grateful for the lessons I've learned. I'm grateful for every challenge that has showed up in my life because whether that challenge was transformative or at the moment even paralyzing, it's shaped who I am and it's changed who I am, and it's given me the opportunity to examine who I need to be and how I need to grow. And I'm grateful for that because without that, who would you be today? So I'm grateful for even the smallest things like a great conversation with a friend that I'm not able to go out to dinner with right now. So when I talk to her on the phone, I'm listening more intently because that's my time with her. I'm grateful for Zoom. I'm grateful for you guys and this platform that we have created together. Uh, I'm grateful for the powerful conversations that get us to think. I'm grateful for uh, the ability to think creatively, to think strategically, to think without limits. There's, I could go on and on. Can you? Can you do that as well? Of course you can. If you were to sit down and start to think about everything you're grateful for, I think it would overwhelm you. Even the sheets on your bed, it's okay to say that that may be something you're grateful for, right? Because it's an opportunity for you to take a minute and shift your mindset, create a different state of being and improve your life, right? So shifting your focus. I think it's just up to us as individuals to do this on a daily basis. I don't think it should only be on Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving week. I mean, it makes for great commentary and, 
and Hallmark cards, but it's really an opportunity for us to be in this state of gratitude 365 days a year. It's up to us to look for opportunities to show up. It's up to us to look for opportunities to contribute, to connect, to teach, to learn, to accept, uh, and to move forward. So I think that this is maybe the beginning of a new year for a lot of us this week can start that in terms of how we're thinking and feeling because you know, the new year does change when the calendar turns to January 1. However, you can turn that page in your own life any day you want. And maybe expressing some gratitude today is step one, right? So regardless of the circumstances that you're currently in, I know you can find something to be happy or grateful for. I, I know from experience that even in the darkest of days, there's a blessing, there's an opportunity, there's something that you can be grateful for. And that, my friends, is what life is about. Because without that, we have no hope. And without hope, where do we go? So I think it's an opportunity for us to really focus on what we want to call more of into our lives, right? Rather than focusing on the negative. Um, and because you know what? Focusing on the negative, it just steals your joy. I, and I don't know why you would want to give that away. So those are some of my thoughts this morning. I'm going to ask you guys who are here on Zoom and uh, live on Facebook to put your comments in, uh, in the chat or, or wherever you are in the stream on Facebook and just share with some of us, or if you wanna come off mute, if you're here with me on Zoom, what are you grateful for? Or what, what has this started in terms of thinking in your own mind? I appreciate you being here with me um, and allowing me to challenge you sometimes to think differently. So anybody have any thoughts or, or questions or anything that they wanna share? Good morning, Jill. I can't hear you. Jill, I can't hear you. All right, so I see Robin White has her hand raised. Hi, Robin, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, all. First of all, um, yes, Anna, I do I have a gratitude journal and I find that as I write in it every day, there's more and more that I can be grateful for. But the first thing I am grateful for is life. As we've heard so much of death around us this year, mm -hmm. as I wake up each and every morning, I am grateful for the fact that I have life, that I can breathe on my own, that um, I'm moving on my own. I'm grateful for the friends and family that are around. I'm grateful for the business that I'm in. I'm grateful for being able to be effective in my community. I'm grateful for just such change in um, the way we live, that we still can survive, that we can still survive in such um, an environment. Of course, you know, I'm grateful for my family, but um, I'm just grateful for life because life is abundant. It's how you view life. It's abundant, it's wonderful, it's great, it's fantastic, it's marvelous, it's everything. Beautiful, so I love that, Robin, that is beautiful. You know, life is abundant and abundance is around you all the time. And if you just choose to bring it in, call it in, it multiplies. Thank you, Robin, for sharing. You're welcome, Anna. Hi, Leslie. Good morning. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm good. So nice to see you. I wasn't sure if you were off mute because you wanted to share something. So I just thought I would give you a little shout out. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm trying to get us, you know, uh, figure it all out so I can be on here in the morning. And what I'm really grateful for is that uh, my cats, who both passed up, uh, before my one cat passed, he spoke to me quite a bit. I'll still, I'm still crying about it, but I decided to, uh, to really research the other side and mediums and near-death experiences. It's been a year and it's just an amazing shift in my entire consciousness. They yeah. are with me a lot, I, you know, and I'm, I'm learning to sense it. I'm taking a course starting December 2nd to develop that capacity. Wow, that's so exciting. Good for you. <laughs> it's so off the charts. And when you talk <laughs> about 
turning what what was a, you know a massive darkness into the hell with you know believing what the parents believed to turning it around into connecting to them on this on as spirits it's yes, just amazing I, yes i remember us having those conversations in the past so just looking at your life and the story that your your programming created right whether it came from our parents or other events in our life and changing that story a little bit and moving forward from it um or or maybe just leaving the story where it is in the past and rewriting new stories right moving forward i just want to say i'm also very grateful for my parents leaving me enough money that i am still renting this amazing loft studio in kingston Nice. So I paint every day. That's awesome. Yes, Leslie is a very talented artist. So uh, we'll, uh, you may want to look her up. So thank you for being here, Leslie. It's so good to see you. Same here. Yeah. Same you, Anna. Thank you. So I think that, you know, Leslie also brings up something. It's like you have to find the joy in the things and in the places that connect with you and look at how all of our experiences are teaching us something and all the the people that come through whether they're two-legged or four are and what is you know what are the lessons that they're teaching us right so i love that uh, i want to give anyone else an opportunity who'd like to share to do that because that's what this is about it's about gratitude anybody else have anything they'd like to share before i may have some final thoughts for you I know it's early. <laughs> so I come on anytime you like. I'm grateful for all of you. As I've said many times, I'm grateful for you getting up on a Monday morning early to join me. I am grateful for this platform and the opportunity to, to share thoughts with you and to learn from you as well. And again, I think that gratitude is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And so a couple of things that I'll leave you with in terms of thoughts and um, ideas to go forward from here is, you know, how will you incorporate this more into your daily routine, right? How will you elevate your awareness around expressing and feeling gratitude? I think one way is uh, simple and it could be a routine you create at night before bed or maybe first thing in the morning. Um, and that is to write in a gratitude journal just put down a few thoughts before bed or a few thoughts as you get up and really focus on the things that you're grateful for. I personally like to do it at night because then I can reflect on my day and I can put down some things that uh, really showed up and, and allowed me to shift my focus and see the abundance and see the blessings and be focused on the gratitude. So that's one way. Uh, another way is to incorporate it into your conversations more. You know, the power of questions, I've talked about this before on Mojo, uh, the more powerful the question, the more powerful the answer. And questions have the ability to change your world and open you up to a lot of different um, thoughts and perspectives. So can you incorporate questions into your conversations that focus more on gratitude? How many times do you ask someone, hey, what are you grateful for today? How, how many times are you encouraging other people to connect with their feelings of gratitude and to express that? So I think that can be a really powerful thing. And, and you know, I've, I've just said this to my husband the other day, uh, especially we were reflecting on just current events and uh, things that are going on. And I said, you know, I don't believe the world has ever been changed by someone just expressing their opinion. I believe the only time the world has changed or that we can affect change on the people around us is when we do something different, when we, when we take action. So it's one thing to feel and express that gratitude for yourself, but yet it's another thing for you to connect with people and encourage them to do the same. So those are just some thoughts. And I, I have some stuff on uh, gratitude and, and the act and and kind of a little bit of the science behind it in terms of positive psychology and, and what it can do for your life that I'll share on the Facebook page over the next couple of days. Um, but I just, again, want to say how much I appreciate all of you and wish you a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And I look forward to seeing your comments and, and thoughts on Facebook. Please share what you're grateful for. Share what this may be meant for you today, what you pulled out of it. 
uh, because I do enjoy that and enjoy uh, seeing how you can support and lift other people in that group. So thank you for joining me this morning. It was a great way to kick off this week. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys back here next Monday. Thanks, Anna. It's great to see you. Have a great Thanksgiving. You too, Leslie. Thank you. Everyone, you enjoy your holiday. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks, Anna. Take care. Bye.